Oh, look, here comes a cub. Ethan, that's a very good question. I don't know that I know the answer to your question. You say, why are their eyes yellow? Well, they're not always. They're sort of sometimes greeny and sometimes orangish. But that color is obviously effective for them in terms of reflecting enough light out of the eye, so protecting the... Oh, she's trying to suckle. Is much too old to be suckling. Much, much too old. There will be no milk in that female. Trying to get some milk out because he's feeling a little bit hungry. Um, so those eyes are helpful to, you know, the color of eyes it depends very much on the amount of light that there is and whether the light will damage the eye or whether there's not enough light and you'll find that the color is just obviously that yellow and, and orange color is best for reflecting and absorbing as much light as possible, I think. That's very interesting what we're watching there because you should be completely weaned. Caitlin, you say they're the top of the food chain. Yes, they're definitely the top of the food chain, Caitlin. Nothing else threatens a lion except a very big pri uh, not pride, uh, clan of hyenas. Spotted hyenas have big conflict and big fights with lions, and so sometimes they will be the top of the food, food chain, depending on how many there are. But largely, yes. It is the lions that are the top of the food chain, and nothing will give them any trouble at all. They're much bigger than all the other predators. <laughs> Dominique, I think your question is, do lions have venom? Is that right? Dominique, lions don't have venom, no. They don't kill with venom. There are no mammals that kill with venom. That's a very interesting question because it's the second time we've had it from the schools over the last few days, and it's quite interesting. They don't have venom. Only reptiles, as far as I know, have venom. Some fish have venom. I don't think there are any birds that have any venom. Um, obviously, lots of insects have a little bit of venom in them. And what about frogs? Frogs have got venom. So frogs and reptiles and fish can make venom, but birds and mammals... I don't think they can. Certainly lions cannot make any venom. They don't kill with venom, they kill purely... Let's look at that big jaw open there. They kill purely with their teeth and their strength. They're very, very powerful animals. So they don't need any venom either to protect themselves or to kill their prey. Now, Ruth, I probably should have told you this before, but you say, how many cubs are there? Ruth, in this pride, there are six cubs, and I don't think we can see them all, but there are six of them, and I must say, it's very lovely to have them with us again. We haven't seen them for some time, and in that great carpet of lions and all around here, there'll be six cubs, and there are five lionesses in the group. And Jameson, you're wondering why they're so close to each other. Jameson, it's because they are they like each other, they're friends with each other. And they will always be close to each other, these lions. They like to be close to each other. It's one of the major features of lions is that they form these prides, what we call prides, that's what a group of lions is called. And because they form prides, they're always close to each other. But the males are not always, you know, the males will move away eventually. They will be chased away by their fathers. And they will have to go and live on their own for a little while. And then they might join up with some other males and start a pride, or not start a pride, but take, a, uh, take over a pride of their own. And then they do still spend a lot more time on their own than any other of the females. Parson, you're wondering if the girls hunt. Uh, yes, they do. They hunt hugely. They are very successful and very effective hunters. And this pride likes to hunt buffalo. That's their favorite thing. They really like to hunt buffalo. And sometimes they hunt smaller stuff. I'm sure they catch quite a few impala, which we saw earlier, maybe the odd nyala. But buffalo is really the thing 
that they like to eat the most. Now, there are no males here because the males are somewhere else at the moment. Now, Elijah, you want to know if these lions would catch an elephant, if they would hunt an elephant. Elijah, yes, sometimes, not in this area. It very seldom happens here. There's too much else that is much easier to kill than elephants here. And so normally it's buffalo or impala or nyala, kudu, those things you saw with Tristan. They will definitely be eaten um, by lions like this. But elephants, very seldom. And you normally need an enormous, enormous group of lions or pride of lions to take out an elephant, because an elephant, of course, can weigh in excess of 10,000 pounds. So they are enormous creatures. Here comes the other cub. Kenyon, you're wondering how fast a lion can run. Pretty fast, Kenyon. Probably at about 50 miles an hour, if they have to. Which is pretty quick. But that's a female. I don't think the males are quite as fast, but the males are very, very strong. Now, of course, it's very difficult to work out really how fast a lion can run. So the guess is about 50 miles an hour. But unlike with a car that you do a speed test with, you know, you can put it on a road and uh, drive it. You can't really tell a lion to run in a straight line and then measure how fast it's running. So it's quite difficult to figure out really how fast they are. Hello, Liana. You're wondering if they always sleep together. Well, this pride does, yes, absolutely. Not all the males, though. The males of this area, which are called the Birmingham Boys, there are four of them, they don't always sleep together. They have to patrol a very large territory. And because they're patrolling all the time, they don't really have time to stay with each other all the time. But this pride will normally sleep together unless the females are off hunting. And sometimes they might go off hunting and they might be unsuccessful and then they will leave the cubs behind and they'll sleep on their own and these cubs will sleep on their own as well. But the cubs will always be together and the adults will almost always be together. All right, kids, we're going to say goodbye to you. I hope you have a very wonderful day at school. It is Friday, so you'll have the weekend to look forward to. And, of course, you must be very nearly getting to your summer holidays. So I hope you have a lovely day at school. We're going to enjoy the rest of our safari with these lions and see what else Tristan and Jamie get up to as well.